So one of the one of the challenges with having habitat and crop fields in close proximity is, as we've discussed before, sometimes a farmer needs to manage soybean aphids, for example. And and so, how do we manage that spray drift? First thing is really important is read the label. The label will provide information on wind speed, nozzle types that need to be used, and those are on the label because they've, through science and research, those practices have been, those technologies have been established to reduce drift. The label may indicate you need to have an infield buffer or space to try to minimize the drift. So the first and most important thing is follow the label, and it will, chip, will have very specific uh, information. There's also increasing uh, advancements in the technology of, of spray, spraying pesticides, insecticides. So nozzle types are improving to get the, the right size droplet so that we don't get a lot of drift. There's also different adjuvants that can be added to the tank mix, which also help reduce spray drift. And so I think it's really important for certified applicators, aerial applicators, the landowner, just to make sure they're following the label, they're on top of the new technology that's coming along. There's also some states like the state of Iowa and other states that have websites, usually managed by the State Department of Agriculture, that will let you know where, are, where there are sensitive sites in your area, where there may be honeybee colonies uh, in your area so that you can reach out, say, to honeybee keepers, beekeepers, let them know, hey, I got soybean aphids and I've, I've got a treat. I'm at the economic threshold. What do we need to do in the next couple of days to try to minimize any exposure? Or to be making sure you know where restored habitat is or where there may be sensitive areas so that you can adjust your spraying tactics to minimize drift. This is probably the most important thing that I would like to relate to uh, farmers, and I'm basically a farmer myself, that that I can relate to a farmer is go by label instructions. Do what the label says uh, uh, and try, try not to circumvent that because the label has come up with protections for our pollinators, not just honeybees, but for our native bees too, as our butterflies, all of our insects uh, could be harmed by the inappropriate application of an insecticide or fungicide. So <clears throat> I, I could, I just like to appeal to any farmer that may be listening to this, just go by the label directions and we can live together. <laughs> That's the important thing is that we can live together by, uh, by me doing what I'm supposed to do and what a farmer's supposed to do too. So. Yeah.